Welcome back, guys, to another video. Stubby, here's the star of our show. Hey, come here. Come on. Oh, he knows what's happening. He's ready to get in the car. I know. Come on. Let's go. Awesome. Well, today, we got, a, as you guys can probably see, we got a bunch of snow last night. I guess, not a bunch, but enough for de for December. Hi. Oh, you're yeah, so excited. You're so excited. Um... Yeah, go potty, go potty. Yes, I know. Anyways, uh, we just got like an inch, inch and a half just last night. So, um, crossing our fingers, we'll be able to shoot some roosters today. Uh, we're going to be going out kind of the same area we were last time. Um, yeah, kind of the same thing. I actually brought a face mask and some glasses in case it's windy today. So, hopefully we get into them. Um, we'll see you guys at the spot. and I uh, just got to a public piece here. Come here. We just got to a public piece. We're gonna hi. We're gonna start our hunt. And, ugh, it is muddy out. Barely got snow. More so got rain. But we're gonna start on this public piece. I like to start on public just to get him tired out. You know, he's got all this balled up energy, right? You funny ears. Um, and we're going to, yeah, I gotta just hunt this public piece first. Do a little walk and then I guarantee we're gonna do some door knock and let everybody get up on a Saturday morning. So, are you ready, Cole? You ready? You already got cattails on him. I think he's ready. We should get on the road. <laughs> All right, so for this being the public land piece, you know, the birds were pretty jumpy and you'll see this first rooster here. He jumps. I probably shouldn't have taken this shot, it was probably pushing 40 yards. But, you know, it being a rooster on public land, you don't get too many opportunities at them late season. So, yeah, we ended up pushing these few birds. And, um, yeah, you guys have to see how this hunt plays out. Damn it. What's a rooster? Shouldn't have taken no shot. Damn. Hen, hen. Holy cow. That would be a hen. All right, so we ended up following where that rooster went, and I was trying to keep Stubby to the cattails to the left, but, you know, him being a dog, he ran into the woods, and uh, he ended up getting a really nice point, and he held it here um, for quite a while, and then we, he ended up losing the scent of the bird. We just didn't have a lot of wind, and it was kind of misty rain. Um, but we eventually did end up finding the bird. I'm pretty sure it was the same bird. It was in a tree, and you'll see that clip next. Oh boy, where's he at? Where'd he go? I don't know where that bird's running to. All right, so after that goose chase Stubby sent me on, I ended up circling back with him. Maybe we could catch that bird scent. And I didn't even, you know, use Stubby for this one. I just assumed there was a bird in this little tree patch. I thought there was a bird in here. Damn it. I so thought there was a bird in here. Yeah. 
Okay. Only one. Come on. Stubby. That right there shows you how little wind we had that morning. Stubby. He was downwind of that bird the entire time and never smelt it until he got within two or three feet of it. So I thought for a second there there could be another bird, but there ended up not. Come on. Over here, Dan. I apologize in advance. Uh, I got dew on the camera. It's on top of my head. I couldn't see it. Otherwise, I would have wiped it off. Um, but anyway, Stubby, we ended up pushing this piece, and he was super birdie in this little slough. So I knew there was birds, and they ended up running and getting up right next to the road. Um, if I would have had more guys, I probably could have got some. But, yeah, I ended up seeing one rooster here, and I took a poke. Like I said, though, these birds were real jumpy, and he was another 40-yard shot. But, yeah, it's pretty cool footage. Where there's one, there's always two. That was probably a rooster. I'm not sure, maybe. That's a point. Hen, hen. There's a rooster. Damn! We didn't even have enough shells. Ah. Rats. Maybe another one. We'll get up. I don't know. Maybe. Hen. Stubby. Stubby. Shit. Well, it looked good. There's another one. Come on. Well, I am soaked. I should. Uh, the jackets keep me a little dry, but these are soaked. Like, I could wring this out. Stubby looks like he just took a bath. He did need one, though. Um, yeah, we had that rooster get up right away on that uh, side. But, um, uh, yeah, we had that rooster get up, and then we circled back. I had a few hens get up. That one hen in the tree was pretty scary. Um, but then we circled back and Stubby got birdie. I knew he was birdie. He was pushing something. A lot more birds than I thought. And I saw one rooster. I shot at it. Kind of a far shot. Stubby, had, he pointed because he smelled a ton of birds. But they were already running through the road. That's where if I had two people, it would have been pretty nice to have someone post up there. But it's hunting. We're going to probably do a little door knocking, I think. Oh, I'm soaked right now. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna do a little door knock and see what happens. So, first spot is done. Stubby and I have been knocking on doors all day after that public land spot this morning. Someone hunting out there. Cool. Anyways, Stubby and I have been knocking on doors. We got two no's. Very nice people. They just, you know, they had people who hunted it. Driving by that same old lady's place that I had permission on last weekend. Thought, well, you know what? She was super nice about it the first time. Maybe she doesn't have anybody hunting it this time. I guessed right, she's got nobody hunting it, and it is all ours, so, man, that, I just had a great conversation with her, she is, she is the nicest thing, so Stubby and I got a place, we're going to be hopping out of the truck here and hunting really soon, see you guys there. Alright, so Stubby and I hunted that field all the way up into that marsh we were in last week, we pushed it up to this marsh, and the birds started communicating like crazy, it was awesome. I have never heard anything like that, so if anybody knows what any of those calls mean, let me know in the comments, because that was pretty wild. Damn, he was running. He got up on the road. Yep. Good boy. I knew it. Yeah, I know, he got up. Come on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, buddy. Come on. Where's a hen? Find another one. Yeah. 
So after Stubby took a dive chasing that hen, uh, we ended up making a loop in the cattails and Stubby got on another rooster within minutes. Go get him. Stubby, where'd he go? He landed right here somewhere. There you go, you got him. Stubby. Stop, stop. My bird, Stubby. My bird. Nice. Ugh. Cool, come on. That bird threw me for a freaking loop. Nice. Pays off, guys. Holy boy. Sopping wet one, too. Cool. There you have it. That's a bird. All right. Well, I didn't get it on film because they jumped a little too far away from the camera. But a couple roosters pitched off into the CRP, and Stubby got an awesome point. But I honestly did not think a rooster was going to hold, so it really surprised me. Go ahead. Rooster. Get him! Get him, Stubby! Get him! Stubby, go get him! Stubby! Come here! Stubby, go get him! Go get him! I have officially figured out I can only run half a field before I get winded. <laughs> that bird was so strong and he kept running. Uh, Stubby eventually chased him into these cattails here up here to our right. And uh, we looked for a good 10-15 minutes, but the bird actually snuck out the back door and we ended up catching up to him. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Damn! Come on! Oh, cool. Thought maybe he was on up there. Ah. Alright, let's walk back. Damn it. Ooh. Ah. Stubby, come on. Stubby, are you okay? Come on. I know you feel bad. Uh, got this. Oh, perfect. He's got to be in here. Or it's Newbert, I don't know. Got one. Stubby, go get him. This next clip, Stubby is an absolute rock star. He beelines it for this bird, and this bird was still strong because I barely nicked him with my last shot again. Uh, and he just makes an awesome retrieve here. Five birds, not dead ones. Oh my god. I mean, dead ones, not live ones. Get him, Stubby. Stubby, get him. Oh my God. Stop it, bring him here. MVP right there. Thank God. Stop it, bring him here. Stop it, come on. You get a damn steak tonight. 
Stubby, come here. Bring him here. Bring him here. Don't drop him early. Got him. My bird. My bird. My bird. I yeah, know you're pissed at him. No. Oh my god. I owe you one. Stubby, come here. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's keep going. <sighs> we worked hard as nails for this bird. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. I love that dog so much. All right, so after Stubby and I were in that slew for a few hours, I was soaked. Stubby was soaked. I was actually about to unload my gun here because we were that close to the car. Stubby had got birdie, but never really pinpointed anything. And I actually got on the road just for a little advantage point and a little time for my legs to rest when this rooster gets up. one right here after that rooster got up i actually heard something walking in this grass here and i called stubby over to get a scent and he didn't but eventually stubby. we did catch up to this bird on the way back to the car stubby i heard one Hen, hen, stubby, stubby, stubby. Shit, he is gonna grab it. And stubby, it's not getting away from him. Stubby, shit. Yeah, that's what I didn't want. Come on, stubby, drop it. Get over here. I don't know why it's so weak. Come here, my bird. Stubby. Say hello, hen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Come on, buddy. Keep hunting. Stubby, come on. Stubby, come on. Go, 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 go. I didn't tell him to let you go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do that. <sighs> That's fun. Well, I knew he was on something. So I don't teach him to chase hens or catch them. All right, as you can see, I was thinking about I was thinking about unloading my gun, um, and that rooster got up. And I whiffed. I didn't shoulder my gun right. I whiffed twice. I bet you can see it on the video. My barrel's gonna be pointed a little high. But he was on that other bird. It was running like a rooster, but it was just an injured hen. You know, I tried to call him off of it, but at the same time, I don't want him to stop pursuing it. Kind of like how that one rooster almost got away from us today. I also want him to kind of start chasing those birds more. He's on another one. He's actually on point. Oh boy. Anyways. He caught that hen and I had to let it go behind him. It's almost like distracting a toddler to put away a toy or something. All right, I'm gonna put you guys back on and we'll see you guys back at the car probably, unless he magically finds one. All right. Stubby. We just got back from today's hunt. And uh, yeah, we ended up with two birds. Stubby, this one don't have a tail because of Stubby's epic chase today. That was pretty cool. Stubby, I couldn't film an outro. My phone was being weird, but um, 
I guess this would be considered the outro. Um, oh, that's a bad side. This is a better side. That is uh, the one with the tail today, at least. Ugh. I mean, hit him pretty good. I'm excited to go through that footage. Um, but that was an epic day. So, yeah, I guess I don't really have anything to recap. I guess just catch us on the next one. Stubby and I are out all the time. So, two birds today. We'll get a limit next time. I hope so. Thanks for watching.